Welcome, dear traders. We introduce a new trading bot based on signals from TradingView. This trading bot executes signals from strategies using webhook technology. For starters, let's go through the bot's functionality. Then I'll tell you the order of actions on TradingView you need to perform to start trading. Connection Setup Block In the API key and secret fields, enter the API keys created by an external program on the FTX exchange. The keys are encrypted. Therefore, you can run the bot even in unsafe places. There must be a trade permit. In the subfield, enter the name of the subaccount. When conducting the trade on the main account, leave this field empty. Below that field, you can select the bot interface. Also, there is a button to connect to the exchange. Bot Control Block This block manages the trading process. The Start button starts trading. The Stop button stops trading. The Close All Trades button closes all open trading processes. A Login Block It's an information block that shows the current actions of the trading bot. Open Positions Block This block shows the current open positions. Here you can see information about the average price, the volume of the position, and the instrument in which the position is open. Setting up a trading strategy block. This block is intended directly for setting up a trading strategy. In the Pair on Trading View field, copy the instrument's name from the Trading View platform. In the Pair on the Exchange field, select the desired instrument from a drop down list of contracts. When receiving a signal by the ticker specified in the Pair on Trading View field, the bot will open a position by the ticker specified in the Pair on the Exchange field. The bot needs both fields since TradingView and the exchange don't always have the same tickers. If you check the exit only box, the bot will only work in the position closing mode. So if there is an open position, the bot will trade it according to the signals, but after closing the deal, it will not open a new one. Check boxes in the long and short fields permit to open buy and sell. The next field is volume. It is the position volume as a percentage of the deposit. Now let's go to the TradingView website and do the initial setup. Click on the Indicators field. In the pop-up window, enter the name of the desired strategy. For example, use the Bollinger Band strategy. We add this strategy to the chart. Go to the Strategy Properties and specify the parameters for its operation. After that, we create an alert with which the bot will work. To do this, go to the Notification section. In the pop-up window, in the Conditions section, select the strategy. Next, put a checkmark in the Webhook URL checkbox. We get the link in the Login field when launching the bot. Next, launch the bot, connect to the exchange, and copy this link. After copying, paste this link into the URL field of the Webhook. Also, there will be a text file called Code in the bot folder. Open it and copy all the contents. Next, we insert this code into the message field. After that, click on the Create button. This way we create the strategy alert. I draw your attention that you can create only one alert for one trading pair. If alerts for one ticker were previously configured on other strategies and not deleted, then the bot will make transactions on all alerts that you created before. We have prepared a short video of the bot's work and would like to draw your attention to the strategies you choose. There are many strategies on TradingView where entries and exits get redrawn, so be careful in your choice. There are also trend strategies that make unprofitable trades on flats but earn on the trend. Some strategies will earn money on flats but make unprofitable trades on the trend. Choose strategies carefully depending on the market phase. Thank you all for your attention. See you soon.